Hey everyone. All right, day 12. So I didn't do a video yesterday. It was Saturday and I slept. Yep, took a nap in the afternoon and then got up, did my devotional, did some prayer reading, laid back down and I slept till 11 o'clock, I think, when my wife called me. So I didn't do one yesterday, but that's right. Not much happened. I just slept. Uh, didn't sleep because I was tired for any reason, just slept because I had nothing else to do. So, where am I at? Well, let's see. Spiritually, I'm in a good place. I thought a lot about gaining wisdom. That's always been one of my prayers is to gain more wisdom. That's all I really want more than anything. And I heard a joke um, about a wise man and a fool. And it... It really got me thinking that a fool will never learn from a wise man, but a wise man will learn from a fool. And he will also learn from other wise men. And why is that? Well, it's because a fool chooses to go through experiences in life and learn the consequences that way. Whereas a wise man will watch others and learn from them so they don't have to experience it. It's something I try to do a lot in my life, so when I hear advice or when I see things happening... I pay attention. I make sure I don't do the same thing other people did that got that caused them to go down a path that's unfavorable. So I don't do that. Um, it just if you and if a fool sits here and watches, they'd rather go through the pain. I'm actually dealing with that with one of my sons who is choosing a path that no matter how much I can part wisdom upon him he wants to take that path so he's gonna have to learn the consequences when he God tears him all the way down and then has to bring him back up because he reaches out to God and says all right God I'm at rock bottom what do I do nothing bad both of my kids are all four of my kids are amazing um, but it is just a small choice that leads to another choice leads to another choice and I just don't approve of it uh, so yeah, that's that. And then physically, I feel great today. I'm actually doing push-ups and sit-ups because I stood up and I'm not skinny, but I felt skinny. I look in the mirror and I felt skinny. And I looked too skinny. And so I wanted to go ahead and do push-ups, sit-ups while I'm this fast. And it's been fine. They haven't been too strenuous, not causing any issues. One thing I did notice is people on fasting will say they get growling and then hunger pains i've never got a hunger pain until after my sit-ups it wasn't the muscle contractions because i've noticed i know what the difference between those are but it was actual inside my stomach pains that it was good 15 20 seconds where it just i had to lay down and i couldn't i couldn't do anything because it was so bad but once that passed again i was fine uh i drank plenty of water still and Physically, I'm great. I go for walks. I walk to and from bus, work. There's a lot. When you live in D.C., downtown, it's just... I have a car, but it's easier to walk because a car is inconvenient everywhere. Parking is 300 a month, whereas $50 for a bus ride a month. So I weigh the options and choose to walk everywhere. I don't think I would do it home in Phoenix. Well, I don't do it home in Phoenix, not because of the heat, but because... I have a car and nothing's really that close you should walk so that's where i'm at with that um and back to what i said about physical and something that i've been trying to teach those around me last couple of days is what is your life impeding upon what is it that you're looking for in life and finding your identity that's what i'm looking for your identity do you make your identity about money? Do you make your identity in pleasing your friends or smoking or drinking? What is your identity? Is it in your car, the clothes you wear? And I want to say that probably within the last five, six years, I learned that my identity is in Christ. And it took a while to do that. I wish I had learned it a lot sooner because had I learned it sooner, I wouldn't have been seeking things that I didn't need to seek. Wearing clothes that were so expensive that would have left me with more money had I not chose to live that lifestyle. And I'm not a selfish person, but I've always given my kids everything first. So I take what's left. And when I take what's left of providing for my kids, 
I spend what's left on me, that's expensive. So I don't get much, but I could have had so much more money. I could have just had so much more in life. And so I've learned that my identity has to be in God. And what I mean is just, it's about what God wants. Waking up and putting God first. Putting God in every prayer throughout the day. I say a dozen prayers throughout the day. And I spend dedicated time in the evenings praying after work. Why? Because God is my focus. He's my identity. So regardless of what I'm wearing or what I'm driving or where I live, God is the one I need to focus on. And he's my true identity. And so I'm trying to impart upon the family and friends that that's what they need to do is search for their identity within Christ, not within other things, because they're going to be disappointed. Someone's always going to have more. Someone's always going to have better. And they're going to lead to envy so or lust or desire for something that that's not what they should have or need in their life. Other than that, I'm down to 147 in 12 days. So that's a 22 pound drop. Steady, about a pound a day. So that's what I'm expecting. Everything I hear and read and study says that's going to be normal. So I'm okay with that. Um, and we talked about that the other day. So no need to hash on that anymore. Other than that, I feel great. Energy is there. I'm able to do what I need to do. Oh, except when I get up. So if I lay down for a few minutes, which I do a lot, just lay down, kind of rest for a minute. And then if I get up too fast, oh, wow, instant dizziness. And that's just from everything I read. It's blood circulation when you're fasting is slower. And then when you lay down and then get back up, it's got to push that blood back down to your feet. So it, take, it gives you um, dizziness. And so it's fine. So I stop for a second, gain back my composure, and then I go about what I need to do. Other than that, everything is fine. Um, off to either tomorrow or I'll do it every two days if there's nothing going on tomorrow. Oh, something else my son brought up is why I wear a white shirt in all my, all my videos. Not sure if I talk about it. I have a horrible memory. It's because I work every day with a nice button-up shirt to work. And when I take it off, my undershirt is a white shirt. So I just leave that on when I take the videos. Today I'm wearing this shirt because it's a weekend and I don't wear white shirts on the weekend. So that's why I'm in my videos. I almost stuck with it. Keep the theme. Hat and white shirt, guys. what my son said I should do now. <laughs> thought it was funny. Uh, but I decided to just wear what I'm wearing. So if I'm in a white shirt, you see it's not that I'm doing videos daily. Like a bunch of them in one day. This is me doing it every day. So if you have any questions, put them in the comments. Love to hear from you. Thanks, bud.